Roblox made a public statement talking about the future of their platform. Karen, please come back. I miss you so much. And uh, I have a couple questions about this. The actual CEO said this. Our goal... Well, okay, it doesn't sound like that. Our goal is one platform where age-appropriate experiences for every life stage can be found. Life form. This could include experiences you may have seen on Roblox, like concerts, digital fashion, immersive games, and education. Education, but in the future, Roblox could include different types of experiences like virtual dating. Maybe you and I could, uh, that's such an oddly specific thing to like. Surely, surely you hit you got hit in the head really hard before saying this, right? Virtual dating, indie movie screenings, and new forms of content such as news and hot topics. You know, this is great. You get to hear about your parents arguing about CNN versus Fox, but on Roblox, we're bringing CNN and Fox to Roblox. I like this. This is the content we're gonna be getting on Roblox. Are China and America destined for war? FBI was weaponized against the Donald Trump? But let's reel it back a little bit. Virtual dating? Isn't there like a problem with, uh, not like a huge problem. I don't want to over exaggerate it because I don't really know. But haven't there been like a couple like predators on Roblox? I feel like you don't need to mention the virtual dating thing. Like it's gonna exist, sure, but do you gotta mention it? You're gonna have your, uh, Roblox, Fox, and CNN News, uh, tweeting about. They're gonna run stories on your platform about how kids got kidnapped on virtual dating game. Also, like, virtual dates were kind of like, they were a cute idea during COVID times when, uh, when, like, things were kind of shut down. But, like, virtual dates suck. <laughs> like, that's not fun. I don't know. Ever since my ex broke up with me, I've just wanted to try the tank through her home. Or, I mean, I've really been interested in tanks. I couldn't pass a wellness test to operate one, so I had to get the next best thing. The sponsor of today's video, World of Tanks. I know World of Tanks has my back, even if the US government turned theirs on me. World of Tanks is a free-to-play game with massive battles, featuring over 800 tanks you can choose from. Play however you want, whether you want to be a sneaky little mouse or uh, kind of go suicide bomb style. Can I say that? The game the game is highly detailed and they pride themselves on their historical accuracy. I tested this by showing my grandfather the game and he started having a panic attack. You're gonna love this game. It's a great game. It's hard to find games with detail like this. Uh, go download with my link in the description below. Uh, new users will get all the free stuff you see on screen right here. Thanks World of Tanks for keeping my violent ideations at bay. Hey guys, this is a fight I've been fighting uh, for many years, way before YouTube. I've been trying to, uh, you know, huh? discourage people from doing this kind of stuff. Look, I had accounts like- This is a real account I had back in the day where I pretended to be Beach Chick 16 and I would, uh, I guess technically I was bullying lonely people, but I was like, hey, look at me, blah, blah, blah. I'm hot, famous, rich, and have a lot of friends and money and single. This is 2009. I was like, uh, maybe 12 when I was was doing this by the way i'm not doing this right now you know i would find me a boyfriend and then say hey i hate you also i'm a boy haha <laughs> that's a fight i've been fighting since since 2009 so i'm pretty much a veteran to some extent and i should be respected oh yeah i this is news i picked up on that T tucker carlson guy got fired from fox i think he's actually he's moving to roblox to to do his news segment now that's actually what i heard through the grapevine because i'm a star creator and all so i hear everything and i Everything I say is real and true. Yeah, David Bazuki. As you can see here, he was pictured with Tucker Carlson. You know, it's a crazy to see the CEO of Roblox taking such a, a strong political stance. Here he is on stage with him right here. That's here's David Bazuki uh, on stage with Donald Trump. Actually, There's, nobody has even talked about this before. I'm actually, I think I'm the first one to talk about this. But if you yeah. see him, he's right there. <laughs> All right, I love this. If people can date, then I want to feed my gambling addiction. I want to see a casino in Roblox that requires either real robux or real cash i agree man i want to see you lose all your money like you can have virtual dating on roblox but don't like acknowledge slash encourage it you know what i mean that's kind of a that's a pretty bad look have you seen her before i'm playing a dating game right now but i know they mean uh person on person <laughs> i feel a little bit odd doing this you know i guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point oh, whoa whoa it knew my name it knew my name what the 
<laughs> Do you actually go by Albert or something? Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Why does it actually know who I am? Why do you put, why do you target this game to me? Oh, kind of sort of as when I just drop it to kill and, the, and she knows my name and is talking directly to me. Sorry, I had to... The heck? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Hey, I saw nothing. Love simulator. Sorry, babe. All right, I'm getting a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit. Dude, let me kill this man. I'd rather be alone. Sorry, babe. Dude, leave her alone. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting very distracted. All right, let's read the full blog post. So David Bazuki wants me to find a girlfriend on Roblox. At Roblox, we are building an immersive platform. All right, blah, 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 blah. that simulates the real world. Uh-oh. In real life, people visit places designed for all ages every day, from theme parks to city parks. Older age groups enter environments that require some sort of age verification. From nightclubs to concerts or movies, bring your out alcohol addiction to Roblox at the nightclub. I love it. I I will. Okay? I, I will. Fine. We want to recreate these dynamics of real life and virtual space. The metaverse is kind of dead. Give it up. Just keep paying people to make games because I feel like we're on a good path. Like, Facebook gave up on their whole metaverse thing. Um, I feel like that's a good sign to just, you know, let's... Unless COVID uh, a million... Like, co COVID-40 happens, then, yeah, we might think about the the metaverse again i might you know if i have no other option to like go outside or something sure i'll i'll take it to roblox and i'll be frowning the whole time wait this has changed but in a distant future roblox could envision different types of experiences like virtual dating for older age groups that's not what you said 10 minutes ago you seemed super eager like yeah you could date on here and now you're like, oh, well, maybe one day, uh, the distant future that could possibly happen. Did you receive backlash? Probably. I'm kind of late to this, by the way. Like, virtual dating was the first new thing you mentioned that you really want on the platform. All right, yeah, we have this and this, but we, uh, the new things we want are dating. And then, yeah, screenings and movies and blah, 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 blah. More than 55% of our users are now over 13. <laughs> and 17 to 24 year olds one in every five roblox players is an adult and is employed or in college no way that's people lying about their age what games on the popular page will uh 17 to 24 year olds play like this 24 year old uh, that's that's almost that's almost me i'm older than that now but they might be playing doors they're probably not playing brookhaven they're probably not playing adopt me they're probably not playing don't call flamingo at 3 a.m what are they playing i think there's a lot of people who are over 13 years old playing Roblox, which probably wasn't the case like three years ago, but 55% seems like a lot. Okay, I know I sound like such a huge hater in this video, but I think the overall aging up of Roblox is a, a really good thing, you know? And if they introduce virtual day, it's like if a couple people have to die along the way, I'm okay with it. Let me use this popular game as an example. Would you kill one person to, s to save a billion? Would you kill one child to save 20 zillion children? Something like that. You gotta take the bad with the uh, to get the good is what I'm saying. For some reason, you know, we can't have one without the other. <laughs> you know, I think why the metaverse doesn't really work for people who are in their 20s and stuff. Like the people who Roblox are trying to grab is, uh, you know, when you get your 20s, you know, you spend too much time inside, you start to get depressed. <laughs> just, just me? Um, like you start realizing like, oh man, I could die any one of these days where when you're younger, you're like, uh, if you feel invincible. Yeah, it, it, maybe I'm projecting a little bit of uh, my... Who knows? Like I said, I'm not trying to be a hater. I actually think all this is uh, pretty... I, I think pretty much most of this is great stuff. I want them to have more aged up games. Um, it totally has the potential to do that. Fart in a box. Yeah, this is really great stuff we got going on.